when I attended Stevenson High School uh, as a senior, I was about to graduate, and I remember speaking to my guidance counselor. I had just taken some kind of exam on the computer, and she was explaining to me how, um, based on the exam, there was only two options for me. It was either uh, becoming a mechanic or going into the military. Um, and I didn't, I didn't understand what she was trying to say to me. And then when I started to speak to her about um, college, she went on to explain to me that um, she did not feel that I would be uh, a great college student. She didn't believe that I would be able to finish college. And she was advising me to join the military. So at the age of 17, you know, I'm listening to my guidance counselor um, and believing that she knows what's best for me. And my mother signed me up for the military uh, at the age of 18 because my guidance counselor told me that I would not be a, a, a good college student. Um, so at the age of 18, I was sent into the United States Navy and um, there's a storm happened. <laughs> so I left my community where I grew up one war to go to another war because my guidance counselor felt I was not ready for college. And that changed my whole mindset about life and about my purpose in life, you know. Um, I realized then that my goal in life is to make sure that I educate the youth so that they don't have to make decisions like that. So that I don't have to make, uh, so they don't have to make decisions like that. Um, I came back and I went right into college. Um, leaving the military uh, and going into the reserves. And I started my associate's degree at Hostess Community College, which I finished with an uh, associate's in science. Went on to City College to receive a bachelor's degree in psychology. I went on to um, Mercy College and received a master's degree in education. I went on to Hunter College and received an advanced degree in administration and then I completed the New York City Leadership Academy, all just to prove this guidance counselor wrong. I wanted to make sure that she understood that, you know what, um, when you talk about people's lives, you have to understand that um, it's your own perception. And we are all equal, and, and we should all have the same opportunities as any other children. So um, as an educator now, um, it's, it's shaped my philosophy um, and, and how, what I believe in life. And I, and I feel that all children have the potential to become college students.